All right, it's been a little while since I've done a video, and I was just watching. Um, somebody was asking how to put emergency lights together on another channel, and they put it together using a couple um, op amps. And I was like, got to be an easier way of doing this, or at least to me. So this is what I put together real quick to make a set of fairly reasonable emergency lights. What I have in, this will be a 12-volt power source coming in from your car battery. And I put an on off switch on this so you could turn this off. It doesn't have to be disconnected. You could hook it up to a cigarette lighter or fuse, however, but you can turn this off individually. And you'd normally put this inside a little case or anything. This is before I got in a case. But this will come in. The only thing since I'm using a microprocessor for this is I had to make a power source to bring the 12 volts down to 5 volts from my um, microprocessor. So, um, just have a couple capacitors here to smooth it out, a 7805 for 5 volts. And then I'm passing this on to go into the AT Tiny 85. So you'll have your power, and then as the adjustments are going to come from two resist adjustable resistors here, so I can change my settings uh, of how long the delay is between the flashes, how many flashes I get between each light. Out of the AT Tiny, it's going to go into a set of um, NPN MOSFETs, they're LM641s um, or something, I believe, more than enough to handle the power coming from a few LEDs. And those are coming off of this, and then these are switching the ground coming back from the light, so power is going straight through. So what I've done, 5 volts is going through the 7805 to my microprocessor, but on the back of this where the 12 volts comes in, I'm actually running the 12 volts straight out to the lights. So the way I've done this, you got to make sure you're not hooking up just to a couple um, LEDs. You could tap off the 5 volts and then knock it down with resistors. I'm actually sending 12 volts out to my set of lights, and the LEDs I have are set up for that and lined up in series. Give me a second here. I'm going to hook up the um, oscilloscope to this, and I'll show you what we have coming out. All right, I have the oscilloscope hooked up. It's got power to it, so i got 12 volts coming in. Um, I've just hooked into the two NPN MOSFETs here to get the signal coming from the AT Tiny, and we'll turn it on here. And this will change the pause between. You can set these up either way, but the way I have it set up here, this will change the pause between the flashes, and this will be how many flashes there are in each group before it switches to the other LED. And I'll point you at the MOS um, oscilloscope here. In as I'm turning those, you can see how it changes. So here, hopefully you can see this. You can see that I have three flashes, and then it goes to the other one, flashes three times, and then goes to the other one. And as I change this one re variable resistor here, you can see I can put the time each light's on and off. I can open it up a little bit larger where they stay on. You don't quite get the emergency light effect with that and then the other one I can change it to where it's two flashes it's one one flash back and forth I get two flashes and I can go all the way up to six flashes the way I set the code up six flashes and then it goes to the other one and at that point depending what the delay is it pretty much looks like they're just both on with a very slight pause on there but pretty simple setup. Give me a few minutes. I'm going to hook it up to the car real quick and I'll show you what it looks like. And I'm going to use this setting here. I kind of like the three on and then it goes to the next flash. All right. All right, here we are outside. I got it hooked up to the car. So, same thing. Just got a little 12 volt battery hooked up here and another oscilloscope so I can show you what we have here. I've just put a couple of LEDs on the car under the bumper here and speaker wire to get them there real quick but turning this on again I kinda like the way this works out I'm not a real good programmer with the Arduino but three on and then three to the next light and what that gives you on the looks here turn this off
the effect I this is the effect I get on the front of the car here. So you can use your if you're a fire fire volunteer fireman or something, the red lights you're allowed to have. Um, I just have yellow, I have a couple white ones like this too. And you could put two on each side. You could use a little bigger AT tiny chip, the code's really small. If you need more outlets to put lights on the back of the car and the front of the car. AT Tiny 85 only has four outputs, but you get the AT Tiny, I think it's a 23, and you'd have more outputs on that. Alright, any questions, holler, I'll leave the code at the end.